Hello everyone, welcome back to Park Maths. In this video, I am going to solve this nice square root problem. So let's start the video. First of all, we will write solution and we will rewrite this question in the solution again. So the question is square root of x times square root of x times square root of x is equal to 3. First of all, we will square on both sides. So taking square on both sides, square and 3 square. So on the left hand side, this square and this square will be cancelled with each other. So here, x times square root of x times square root of x is left and the right hand side 3 raised to power 2 is left. Again we will take square on both sides so it will become taking square on both sides. On the left hand side there are two terms x and square root of x times square root of x. So this square will be applied on these two terms. So it will become x square times and it will become square root of x times square root of x whole square is equal to and here we will use the exponential property rs to power m whole raised to power n is equal to rs to power mn. So by using that property here we will multiply the powers with each other. So we will write the base as the same and 2 times 2 is power. Further simplify this left hand side. This x square will be the same. Multiply and again this square and this square root will be cancelled with each other. So only x times square root of x will be left is equal to this side will be the same 3 to power 4. Now again we will take square on both sides to eliminate this square root. So taking square on both sides. Now there are three terms on the left hand side x square x and square root of x. So this square will be applied on these three terms. So it will become x power 2 whole power 2 times x square times square root of x whole square is equal to and again here we will use the exponential property and multiply the powers with each other so it will become 3 raised to power 4 times 2 is 8. Next we will simplify the left hand side that is x and we will multiply the powers so 2 times 2 is 4 times x square times again here this square and this square root will be cancelled with each other so only x will be left is equal to 3 raised to power 8. Now here on the left hand side of this equation we will use the exponential property of same base so that is r is to power m times r is to power n can also be written as r is to power m plus n. When the bases are same, so we will add the powers with each other. By using this exponential property, the left hand side of this equation will become we will write base as the same one time and we will add their powers 4, 2 and 1. So it will become 4 plus 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 raised to power 8. Next it will become by adding the powers 4 plus 2 6, 6 plus 1 is 7. x raised to power 7 is equal to 3 raised to power 8. Next as we need to find the value of x, so we will eliminate this 7 from the left hand side. So to eliminate this 7 from left hand side from the variable, 
we will multiply 1 over 7 in the power on both sides so it will become x raised to power 7 times 1 over 7 is equal to x raised to power 8 times 1 over 7 on the left hand side this and this 7 will be cancelled with each other so only x will be left and on the right hand side the powers will be multiplied with each other so 8 times 1 is 8 divided by 7 now this is an improper fraction we will change this improper fraction to the mixed fraction so in mixed fraction we can write 8 by 7 as 1 whole 1 by 7 we can also write 3 raised to power 1 whole 1 over 7 as 3 raised to power 1 times 3 raised to power 1 over 7 by adding these two powers it will give him again 1 whole 1 over 7 so next we can write this side as x is equal to 3 times and we will write this term as 7 root of 3 7th root of 3 so this is the required answer of this nice problem thank you so much for watching take care bye bye